How many times have you directed your learners to a web page and then asked them to only analyze a certain section or set them specific questions about the content of a web page? How good would it be if we could send our learners to a website where you've already got your questions embedded, key text highlighted, and even inserted video content to turn any web page into an interactive learning experience? Well, with Insert Learning, you can do just that. So let's jump in. Okay, so Insert Learning is a Chrome extension, so you're gonna to need to get yourself a Google account and then get the extension. So just search for Insert Learning extension. And we're gonna add that to Chrome. And then we need to assign that to our Google account and then select teacher and just go through some of the options that it gives you. Name your class. It prompts you to create a new lesson. You can do that if you want to, or we can jump straight in and start creating straight away, which is what we'll do. So I'm going to go to this site here, um, which is about construction jobs and uh, careers. And so it, this might be around uh, job roles in the construction industry. So what we do is click the little uh, insert learning extension. It asks you if you want to use a template, they give you templates. I'm going to just create mine from scratch. If we scroll down to here, we can see some of the site information you've got a few options here on the left you can highlight text you can insert a sticky note you can ask a question or a discussion and you can also assign it to your learners so first of all i think it's good practice to tell the learners what it is you want them to do so if we could select a sticky note and go right to the top here we can now type in here the task that we want them to do so watch the short video below read the highlighted text and answer the questions Okay, so that's the task that we could do. We could also add a video and you could turn your webcam on and actually add a video here to tell them what to do. We'll keep it as that. Just click off. And then what we're going to do is insert a video underneath this so they've got a video to watch as well. So what we do now is we go to YouTube and I found this video about different careers in construction. Take the YouTube URL and copy it. Go back to our document that we're turning into a resource. Again, select a sticky note, and type it in here, and just paste in your URL. And now we've got the video that we want them to watch embedded into somebody else's web page. So now we've got the task we want them to do, and we've got a video now that we can watch, which has come straight off YouTube, so I don't have to send them to that link. Then we can take the highlighter tool, and I'm just going to highlight some, just randomly highlight some of the text that I want them to look at. So obviously you'd go through yours and decide exactly what you want them to look at. So now we've got highlighted text. We've got a video we want them to watch and we've got the um, task itself. So what we can do now is add a question. So if we insert a question here at the end. So the question is, who works with civil engineers, landscape architects and regional planners to establish official land, airspace and water boundaries? And create. So that's the question in there now. Okay, so let's go to the top. So now we've got an introductory task, uh, giving the, the learners some instruction. We've got a video that we've sourced. You can add multiple ones of those in. Uh, we've highlighted some text that we've directed the learner to read and we've got a question we want the learner to answer. So we need to now assign that to our class. So to do that, we go to the assign button and we've created only one class. So we've only got one to choose from. And if we click that and click assign. OK, so now we need to direct our learners to the resources we've created. So we go to our insert learning dashboard. We go to classes and here we've got the class code. If we click on the little binoculars, so you send the learners to insertlearning.com forward slash sign up, and this is the code that the learners need to get. So from here, if you go to grades, once the learners start answering the questions you're giving them, uh, you'll start to get some of this information populated and you can use that towards your off the job training log. So that's insert learning. It's really simple, really easy to use, but a great way to turn a static website into an interactive learning resource.